if you create AI images with transparent backgrounds, then you need to watch this video. I'm about to introduce you to a very cool tool that would let you generate images with no background. And the best part, it's open source, which means it's completely free. I think you're gonna love this. Let's get into it. Because this is an open source model, it will take a little bit more complexity to get it up and running, but the payoff is gonna be worth it. Before we jump to the transparent background, I first have to introduce you to a little tool called Automatic 1111. This is a very cool open source tool that looks like the dashboard you see on the screen. Stable Diffusion is the open source image generating software that you use all the time without realizing it. Most image generators are built on top of Stable Diffusion, whether using Leonardo or Midjourney. The only alternative image generator that's different is Dolly with ChatGPT. Every other image generator out there in the market, they're all built on top of Stable Diffusion because it's absolutely free. Stable Diffusion, when you download it to your computer, runs using your local graphics card. Because I have an M1 Mac Mini with no graphics card, that doesn't really work for me. When I generate images, they're very low quality and they take a really long time, which is why I use tools like Midjourney and Leonardo to generate my images. However, I have installed Automatic 1111 to use Stable Diffusion locally. All this complicated name means is that it's something you can access through your browser and the name it gives you Stable Diffusion has a graphic interface. And this is what it looks like. You type in the prompt, you click some buttons, you click generate and it will generate the image. This is a more powerful tool. And if you have a gaming PC or something with an expensive graphics card, this can be a really cool option to do some very powerful things. Now, let me introduce you to SD Forge Layer Diffuse. I'm sorry, but this is GitHub. This is where all of this happens. So very simply, you are going to get a dashboard that looks like this when you add this tool on top of Automatic 1111. So it's a little bit complicated. It has all of these different codes. You don't have to worry about this. Very simply, you install this. And now your dashboard has an additional feature that lets you have a transparent background. And this is what your images will look like. This is a very cool tool that just became available and just came on radar in the last few days. It's absolutely free. I very rarely cover your open source stuff because it can be a little bit intimidating to work with a tool like this, but I wanted to get this on your radar because no one else can do this. When an open source tool comes out with a feature no one else has, I have to talk about it. Right now with my process, I have to download an image, ask, for a flat white background or hopefully get a solid color background and then use a secondary tool to remove the background. It adds a lot to the process and doesn't always work very well, especially if it's something with hair like a person. But we have a great example right here. Look how great her hair looks. There's no secondary coloration because from the beginning it knows not to create a background. I have a feeling that as this gets distributed, other tools are going to realize the value in this and Midjourney will finally start to create images that have transparent backgrounds once they learn from this tool. But I wanted to get on your radar because I think it's something very, very special. Look how amazing this glass looks in their demonstration. Perfect. It's got shininess. You can see through it. So it's not just about transparent background. It also has to do with images that are partially transparent and partially opaque. So you can see through them just a little bit. Look at this amazing book, which has a lot of things happening. This one here. If you look at the blue color, there are some things there that aren't quite perfect to me. It has some shading in there. This is about personal opinion. Maybe you want that there for the effect. Maybe you don't, but I want you to draw your attention to that to give you a sense of what it can and cannot do. Here's a woman boxer with a little bit of an angry face. We can see it looks like a photograph, doesn't it? That's the most important thing. So we're getting really good results from this tool. Of course, these are going to be the best examples because this is from their demo page. Images that I create locally because I don't have this type of computer, they're not going to look very good. I need to invest in a PC if I'm going to start doing more videos showing open source models. Let me know if that's something that will be useful to you. If you guys want me to spend the thousands of dollars, get a second computer just for demonstrating this type of tool, then I'll absolutely do it. I want to create the videos that you guys want to see. So your comments, your likes, your upvotes, those mean a lot to me and make a huge difference on the direction of the channel. So it tells me what type of content to create. They're doing some very interesting things with cartoon characters, animated characters. Removing the background means we can then place these characters in whatever background setting we want. We've been talking a lot about consistent characters and consistent images lately. This allows you to create a consistent character in one place 
and put them in different scenes rather than having to do complicated prompting to create the new scene and create the character at the same time. This unlocks another version of that superpower we've been talking about. So it's very interesting, very exciting. See this man added into a hallway. We're seeing the exact effect of merging images together. There are some very cool things happening with this idea of layers, layer diffusion, clear layers, transparent layers. A lot of science happening here. This is a tool that I want to get your radar. I hope it has you as excited as I am. I'll put the links below the video. Let me know your thoughts. I think you're going to like. That was layer diffusion, a very cool tool that I wanted to get on your radar because they've made a breakthrough. They're the first people to put out anything in the AI image generation space that can do transparent backgrounds, let alone partially see-through backgrounds. As you saw in the cool demonstration, you can create a character and then create a background and merge the two things together and they look seamless. This is very exciting and I'm hoping that this starts to propagate into other tools and move out of the open source space and into the easier tool space. Overall, I hope you guys enjoy these shorter demonstration videos and find them useful. If you did, hit the like button. It lets me know to make more videos like this and we'll show this video to more people across the YouTube ecosystem and that really helps me. The more people see these videos, the more the channel grows, the more I'm encouraged to make more videos. Either way, I appreciate you sticking with me this long. It means a lot to me. It's my job to earn the click. And if I didn't earn you hitting the like button, that's my job and I'll do better next time. Thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end. Remember, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this appear in your feed. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notified every single time I post a video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.